Welcome back Aquarius. Hope you are doing good. Welcome to the cross watchers. Remember Aquarius, I'm reading for you. But I could be picking up on a cross watcher, a third party, or somebody surrounding your energy. So let's see what's up with Aquarius here. Spirit. One more shuffle. What does Aquarius, Aquarius need to know? What does Aquarius need to know? What else? You got the four of wands. You got the Ace of, Pen of um, Cups in reverse, and you got the Page of Wands. So somebody here is falling out of love, and might just potentially be with somebody just because it's either a long relationship or something that more like an investment is what I'm thinking of here. But there is something here that's indicating that somebody here is uh, probably has is married to somebody and dealing with somebody or somebody doesn't know that somebody's married and they're dealing with that person or somebody does know but this is indicating to me as a reader by intuition that I'm feeling like somebody here is dealing with somebody that's married or was dealing with somebody who was married or in a committed relationship here somebody might just not love somebody anymore and you know they're in a separation or something like that and they're just you know going out with somebody else but it indicates to me something that is very immature even though it happens sometimes with people but there's something immature about this energy let me see what else here for Aquarius yeah it's a tower somebody might just unexpected be I don't know. There's somebody very immature here playing with somebody's mind or somebody's... Somebody's playing games here is what I'm picking up. Somebody's playing games here. Or they were playing games here. But there's a tower moment coming or something that's going to be a shock to somebody. I feel like... I don't know. You got the Wheel of Fortune, the Empress in the bottom of the deck. You got the King of Pentacles. You got the... Palace of Pentacles. I think you're doing good, Aquarius. I think, you know, you've been dealing with a lot of immature energies here that come in and out. And it's like you're not dealing with immature energies. You're more like in that energy of abundance, stability in your home. You know, you are going to be moving forward. There's karma coming to somebody here. There's an empress sitting here. It's not in the de in the in the desk. Well, somebody who might be somebody somebody who somebody might just be having problems at work with somebody, but I feel like, I don't know, there's like a tower or something coming towards somebody here. And it's unexpected. Let me see Aquarius. What the fuck? Yeah, somebody here doesn't care anymore. It's like somebody here hurts somebody so bad. It's like, you ain't worried about Aquarius. You ain't worried about somebody. You got the queen of swords on the bottom of the deck. And you got the emperor. I feel like you're standing in that energy right here. Like the emperor energy, male or female. Here it is again, the, the king of pentacles. I feel like you're standing in this energy of doing yourself. But there is something here that's telling me that you're not hurt anymore about a situation. But somebody is. Somebody is. There's somebody you're playing games or play games with somebody here in some sort of situation. So somebody was married here or somebody's committed here, but they don't love anymore. This could be your course that you don't love somebody anymore because they put you through a lot of things. Through hell, here's what I'm seeing. And it's like emotionally, you're not involved anymore. If it's somebody here that's dealing with somebody that it is married or committed, whatever it is, you're with this person. Emotionally, somebody's not involved anymore. Physically, somebody's there, but emotionally, somebody's not there because there's nothing to give. There's just, there's no love there anymore. Like, somebody here doesn't care anymore. Somebody doesn't, doesn't love somebody anymore. And I feel like somebody's not getting it. Somebody does not understand this, or they don't want to understand this, is what I'm trying to say here. Let me see, what else here for Aquarius? Yeah, it's like the lovers is here. It's a choice that you made, and they want to come back to you. And it's like, you know... I feel like whatever it is that they want to come back to is like, 
This is something new that's coming in here. There's a Queen of Pentacles coming into your energy here. They're gonna they wants to offer you something here, male or female. Let me see. What else here for Aquarius? There's a lover situation going on here. There is a third party situation. When I say third party, somebody was cheating here or is cheating. Yeah. The Queen of Swords is here. You know, saying what you got to say. You're very intellectual here. And you don't give a fuck what you got to say. But somebody here spoke their mind and said what they said. And that's what it is. You're moving into your own energy. You might just have, uh, be picking up a lot of stability right now. The Empress in the bottom of the deck. You might be just embodying that Empress right now. And doing yourself. And moving forward. Because somebody here at the end of the day. You're over and done with somebody here. And if this is a committed relationship or... You know, a marriage or whatever it is, if somebody is messing around, like, the, the time is coming where somebody's going to walk away here. There is somebody that's very vicious here. And when I say vicious, what I heard is the spirit is giving me vicious. When it comes to messing up or fucking up marriages here. It could be a person that somebody's dealing with. It could be just a person that gets involved in people's marriages or commitments or whatever it is. And just, like, they plant, I don't know why I'm hearing plant seeds. It's like they add fire to a situation here that they shouldn't be doing. But at the end of the day, you spoke your words, of course, to somebody here. And you might just be hitting something new. There might be a chemistry going on here with somebody new here. Let me see the four wands here for Aquarius. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't taking offers. Like, somebody want, wanted to come back and it's like a no. No. They want to come back and offer you something. Apologize. It's a fake apology. You're not going to accept that apology. You didn't. You're about you're about doing you now. Yeah, they're trying to they're trying every which way to say I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Whatever it was for you, they cheated. They cheated with somebody here, and that other person was married too, or in a committed relationship. So at the end of the day, like their apologies right now, it could be that you might just you know accept their apology in the future. But I don't think this is gonna be something that somebody's gonna accept. Let me see. Why is it six of wands in reverse? Yeah. Walking away. The Eight of Cups. Walking away. And manifesting for yourself, your family, your children, whatever it is, on your own. That's what's coming out here. They're stuck. You're moving into your abundance, into your stability, and somebody's stuck here. It's like walking away from this person has caused a lot of problems here within themselves but they didn't worry about when they were causing new motherfucking problems you feel me now they're dealing with somebody here that has a lot to say about somebody here and it's like emotionally they're not there you feel me emotionally there's something wrong with somebody here you walked away or you're gonna walk away from somebody here you have no love for it. let me see the ace of um cups in reverse me negative yeah, they're trying to come in. They're trying to come in. The Nine of Swords and get what they want. No matter if it's a yes or a no. They like to get what they want whether you say no. Or whoever says no here. You know, they're going through it. They're going through it really bad. They messed up. They're regretful. Now they're sorry. But what were you thinking about when you were not... When you were doing all this shit to whoever you were doing to? You were not thinking about that when you were doing that. And you, now you want to come back and rush in and apologize? When somebody already moved the fuck on? When somebody couldn't take it anymore, they try to give up, but they didn't give up. And they're looking for love or something somewhere else. You feel me? Like, you just can't come in and say, I'm sorry, when you've done shit over and over. And I feel like, whoever this is that you walked away from, it, like, whoever this is was dealing with somebody that has somebody, man. And it's like, everybody here is, is hitting towers. Like, everybody here is fucked up. You might even know who this person is. And their wife or their husband. Let me see the page of wands. Yeah, heartbreak everywhere. Somebody wounded. Somebody's very wounded here for what they did. But at the end of at the end of the day, you're wounded too. But at the end of the day, you walked away from this. You did the right thing, or you're gonna walk away and do the right thing and manifest what you want here. It's like somebody doesn't want to let go. Somebody's refusing to even listen to. 
I'm going to say guides because that's what I'm getting in my head to guides. It's like they don't care. This person might be atheist when I'm picking up. They could be atheist or they said things that I don't want to repeat here. Like when you talk about God or you talk about guides or spiritual things, they say bad things towards God and those things and you're not supposed to be doing that. But I feel like this person is doing that. No, it's like, yeah, you, you, oh my God, the seven swords. Yeah, this person is, it's like somebody here is a person that watches themselves very much. You watch your back a lot or somebody who watches their back a lot. Somebody needs to watch their back is what I'm getting here from somebody here. And this could be the other party here. Let me see three of swords here. Minera. Yeah, there's a lot of people here that got hurt in this situation here. The Queen of Cups is here. So somebody is very compassionate here. You know, I feel like in both, I don't know, it might not be for every Aquarius, two people that were involved with married people or committed people, but there's somebody here that hurt somebody and somebody walked away here. And now they're trying to like apologize. They're trying every which way possible to come in and control a situation. They're trying to fight for the situation when it's over. And for some of you, of course, as I see you want to forgive here because you're compassionate, you love, you have emotions. But at the end of the day, if you keep on forgiving somebody here that keeps on hurting you, it's never going to end up good. It's going to end up in a bunch of towers. It's going to end up in a bunch of things. And emotionally, somebody here is hiding their feelings. Somebody's broken here and they're hiding it. You can't hide that. Give me this tower. Why is this tower here? Tower on top of the tower. One on one on the clock. I cannot make shit up. It's like tower after tower. Now I turn into 112. This keeps on happening to me. So one on one on the clock. But 112 just turns to 112. Look it up. But tower over tower. Problems after problems. Chaos after chaos. Like how the fuck? You feel me? Like this person has caused so much problems. They've caused problems in your life. In your energy. Somebody here that doesn't give. Somebody here that's not supportive. Somebody here that can't even buy you a drink. Or much less a fucking soda. But they've been left out on the cold. Or somebody's going to be left out on the cold here. They're struggling now. Now they're struggling. They're hitting karma. They can't move forward. Look, the, the, the will of fortune is there. They can't move forward because they're all messed up. Somebody's very regretful here for what they did. But at the end of the day, I believe they are regretful. But at the end of the day, you were not regretting it when you were doing it. You feel me? That was turned over. It was turned over. The king, of, the, the king, the knight of cups was turned over. So somebody's trying to come your way, but there's always a problem. There's always some fighting going on here. This might be two couples. This might be a couple that's always into problems or always fighting or whatever it is for y'all. But this might be a couple that's been together for a long time and they constantly fight, fight, fight. They walk away. They come back. You know, it's that type of energy that I'm picking up here for somebody here. You know, sometimes you have to pick what's best for you and what makes you happy and that will make another happy you feel me because at the end of the day somebody's going through it really bad here you, know, you just can't i don't know why is the tower here over the other tower like me yeah somebody's not resting here somebody is overthinking here somebody here is is very distressed with the situation here somebody cannot I'm going to say not move on because that's what I'm getting because of a problem here. It's like there's a lot of control issues here. It's like when somebody walks away, somebody comes in with that little, um, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it. I won't do it again. There might be even a DV in some situations here that I'm seeing here. Somebody needs to rest here. Somebody here is watching somebody, stalking somebody and like, really looking into somebody without resting it's, a, it's like a 24 hour thing going on it's like it's almost like an obsession here of stalking but at the end of this because they're going through it they know they fucked up why is the three of swords in reverse somebody here doesn't give a fuck anymore it is what it is somebody's tired look at that that was gonna jump out somebody moving on here it was gonna jump out let me see the three of swords here for Aquarius be tired Aquarius you know there's something new coming in here and somebody's refusing it it could be something yeah they're stuck there's somebody stuck here 
while you have moved on and you don't give a damn about something here anymore, you, like you ain't got no more emotions, like you done with it. Like, that's it. I don't want to, you know, like, you done with it. You might have been seeing somebody else already. This person's being stuck. Spirit is keeping this person stuck here. In their own drama, in their own chaos, in their own fuckery. They're keeping them stuck. They could watch you all they want. They could stalk you all they want. They could look at you all they want. They're going to find whatever the fuck they need to find. Period. You might just be hitting a new connection or might just have to make a choice in what you want here. Yeah, you're going to make that choice. And I feel like you already did. Let me see. Why is it to a sword here with the three of... Um, I can't. I must have cracked it up. I can't. This person, no matter where they hit, where they go, what they do is like... They cause you problems wherever they go. But at the end of the day is like... When they try to find out about you or... It's like they're, it's like they're going to the source... Of like evil is what I'm going to say. But that's the way spirit is giving it to me. A source of evil meaning there's envious people, jealous people and there's liars here. They're telling this person what they want to hear when it's not happening. So they're going to a source of evil while they're going through it. They're, they're just stuck. They're stuck. Two of swords. Minera. Like... <laughs> Listen, yeah, the Knight of Cups is coming in. So you got an offer coming in. And it might be this lover's card that's here. You know, there's an offer that you're walking into. You know, it's a love offer. So it could be a date. It could be something new that's coming into your energy. While this person's staying stuck here, spirit is keeping this person away from you. Because all they do is gossip and fight. But at the end of the day, they want to come into your energies. There is something coming in new for you here. The Empress is here. It's like this person likes to argue, fight at no cost. It's like they have, they feel like they can control you. And spirit is keeping this person stuck and away from you for a reason. They're, they're having problems in their own home with people, with their family members, with their friends. They're hurt. But why are they hurt is what I'm going to ask. Why the fuck is somebody hurt when you hurt somebody? It's like they're so regretful and they act like a child. I'm going to say it like that. They act like a child. When they don't get their way, they throw tantrums like a child. Like, I can't deal with that. I can't. Why is the lover's card here for Aquarius? There it is. They stuck. They stuck. They made the wrong choice and they walked into the wrong. They walked into another person and now they stuck. They got the same thing they did to you. You reap what you sow. Okay, you reap what you motherfucking sow. But you might be also make trying to make a decision and you're stuck, Aquarius, in making a decision whether to receive love or not receive love again because you've been hurt before. So don't think that everybody's bad. Don't think that everybody is a person that's going to hurt you. But there is some people have come your way here that is like, okay, I went out with this person. It is a no. Like, this is what I'm picking up here. Let me see. Why is the eight of stories here with the lovers? Somebody here is coming in, and I see them funny. That's why I want to laugh. Because I see them in an energy coming in, trying to apologize, apologize, apologize. And I feel like you've 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 forgiven this person before. But, like, it's like a no. Or, I don't know. Of course, that's you. I don't know. Pick your side. Let me see. Why is this eight of swords here with the lovers? Minera. Justice. You need to balance out your life, Aquarius. You need to leave all these people behind, whoever they are. Because I see a pattern of a group of people or family members or sisters and brothers, whatever it is, that work together in this fuckery. But at the end of the day, it's like, it's like if I, it, it, the, the, what I'm getting is like, if somebody goes out and does something wrong to you, right? And I'm in a family, right? And I and I have my brother, my sister's back, my friend's back, whatever it is. I'll say, you know what? Yeah, go do it. I'm going to cover up for you. But at the end of the day, it's like, I go back and I fight with that person all day long. It's like they don't even get along with them damn selves. You feel me? It's like a whole chaos of a group of people that don't get along with themselves. But at the end of the day, when they're going to do bad, they do it together. And this is a fucker that I'm seeing. Like, who does that, man? Balance is coming in. Justice is coming in your favor. You are going to receive justice. What goes around comes around. It never stays like that. Karma doesn't miss anybody. But emotionally, I feel like, of course, you're in some type of... Um, 
you're stuck in an energy in an energy oh I missed it. You're stuck in an energy right now where you might just be feeling the consequences that you went through with somebody, but don't let it keep on moving with you because, you know, you're moving fast here or somebody's moving fast into your energy here. You walked away from somebody here. Justice is in your favor, so you might need to balance those scales and drop down your walls because there is something coming in here. Somebody hurt you really bad, and it's like they keep on coming in to apologize. What the fuck? Stop apologizing. And go do what you were doing before. Like, it doesn't make no sense. Yeah, the King of Swords is here on top of the Queen of Swords. Two people that are rough with each other. Two people that don't see eye to eye. Two people that fight all day long. Two people that say... They're two people smart, smart people. But you fuck with me, I fuck with you. This is the energy I'm picking up. So this might be a, a, a couple that's been going at it for a long time. It needs to be balanced out if you want to stay together and keep on moving. But it needs to, like, somebody's going to walk away here. There's too much shit going down. This is not even supposed to be here. The four of wands. So you might just be going out for the holidays or going out, period. You're working hard. You know, there is a controlling-ass energy here with the emperor. It might be a father figure. It might be somebody in the family that you always controlled when you were younger. You never trusted somebody here in your family is what I'm picking up. Don't trust them. The King of Swords on top of the Queen of Swords, Mineta. The King of Wands. There's two people here. And they're both determined here. So there is two couples here for some of y'all. Or there is somebody married here that somebody was dealing with and they're in a committed relationship. Or they're both committed. I cannot make shit up. Look, the five of cups in the bottom of the deck. Somebody's going through it. It might be a king of pentacles here. The knight of cups in the reverse. The knight of swords is here. Somebody's going through it. The queen of swords. People are going through it here. And it's like, they fucked up. Somebody's regretting the day they did something here. And you might be stuck in a situation right now, of course, where you don't want love. You don't want to move forward. You're just in an emotional state right now where you don't want to be with anybody. But you got people that want to come into your energy. And you got like three people here that are that are in this energy here. There's two people here involved with somebody here. I cannot make shit up. Let me see. Give me that palace of pentacles. For course. Yo, they regret things. They come say I'm sorry, but they're involved with a bunch of people here. Like there's there's a lot. Yeah, somebody from your past. Somebody you know for a while. But somebody might come back to reconcile with you. And it doesn't always mean that when somebody comes to reconcile with you is bad. It might be somebody from your past. It might be somebody who comes for the holidays or you go traveling or whatever you somebody from the holidays in the holidays or somebody that just comes in from the past. This could be also somebody from your family. Like, I feel like somebody here is coming from the past. You're going to reconcile with somebody and it's going to be good for you. Let me see. The Six of Cups. So why is it here with the Palace of Pentacles? This isn't a home. This is family. Yeah. You went through a lot here with your family growing up, whatever it is for you. You went through a lot here, and this is why you're so blocked off from people here. You're not letting your walls down right now for some of you. Not for everybody. For some of you, you're not letting your walls down. For some of you, you have problems here with your family here. They're trying to reconcile, but it's like, every time you reconcile, they fuck you over. So, you know what? If you have problems, if you have problems with anybody, your family, friends, whatever it is, just leave it alone. Do your own thing. Sometimes it's better to ignore than to even, you know, feed the bullshit you got the wheel of fortune here and you got the chariot moving really fast here so you're hitting something new here you've cried a lot here you've cried a lot here and you got the six of swords here walking away so at the end of the day you're walking away from the what no longer serves you here this motherfucker is going through it whoever it is they're stuck right now in an energy with somebody doing the same thing or worse than what they did to you they're doing worse to this person what they did to you and they brought them to themselves. That They brought them to themselves. Let me see what they want to say here. What do they want to say here to um, 
Let me see. You got um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. You got Libra here. You got Sagittarius, Leo. You got more Libra here. You got Gemini. You got Aries. More Aries. You got a lot of Aries. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You got more Aries. You got maybe you got Aries in your chart dealing with Aries, and you got um, more Libra. Let me see. What's here for Aquarius? What do they want to say to Aquarius? There it is. I will return to claim you. So they don't stop. Somebody here doesn't want to stop to, to claim you. And you were, I don't feel like you want this, to be honest with you. They're trying to manifest this. What else here for Aquarius? I will return to claim you. That don't even sound right. Like, that don't even sound right. This person is very controlling here. Let me see. What else here? When we're together, I feel alive and time stands still. So, you might just be meeting somebody in this energy, but I don't know. This might be a twin flame connection. For some of you, you're meeting somebody here. You got other options or you left this person. This is a past and something new is happening here. But somebody feels like when they're with somebody here, it's like time stands still. But at the end of the day, when you're with 25 thousand people does time does time stand still too with those other people i don't get it let me see this could be somebody from your past that's coming in that always wanted you and you never gave them a chance and they've always thought about you they've had nights thinking about you so it could be somebody from the past that you couldn't be with because of somebody here or a missed opportunity here you have with somebody and all they do is think about you this could be the past coming in y'all and i'm not talking about the past here this crazy ass energy. I'm talking about the past past coming in here. And for some of you it's going to happen. Trust me when I tell you. This come out of reverse. I don't know how to have a healthy relationship. There it is. In the bottom of the deck. I'm not sure what to do or say. That's what I'm saying. Somebody's confused here. Let me see. What's here for Aquarius? Healing heart. Healing heartbreak. Okay. It says toxicity, addiction, abusive relationship. So like I said, I think I said there must have been, um, I don't remember what I said. But, you know, there is some, you need to heal from something here. And it could have been an abusive relationship here. That's why two towers are together. Because there's too much abuse here. Mentally and, you know, physically. There's a lot of abuse here. And somebody's not putting up with this no more. You just can't come in and say, I'm sorry for abuse. You feel me? Like, you can't do that. You do not say sorry for abusing somebody. Paradise in the bottom of the deck. Happiness. Playfulness. Enjoying each other. Honeymoon phase. You might be... If you meet somebody, man, make it happen. Let me see. Give me something else for Aquarius. Yeah, you do not abuse people. Land it like this. In reverse, talking. So there's no talking, no situation here with somebody. Interested in waiting messages, text, calls, email talking more it's a came out of reverse so somebody here is not talking to somebody they're there somebody here is cut out completely somebody here doesn't want nothing to do with somebody here let me see give me more from here in a recording announcement expression reading so somebody's going to reveal something to you already re was revealed to you somebody here was caught and somebody did it on purpose <laughs> Somebody was doing their own fuckery, but they were recording their own fuckery and somebody else's fuckery to like, like, um, oh my God, are you serious? Like, what the fuck? Somebody recorded somebody that was doing something crazy, but they're doing something crazy too. And they're about to expose it or they're going to expose it to somebody here. Like somebody has to be real dumb to do that. Let me see. What else here? With that recording. Who the hell is this man? Aquarius, at the end of the day, you said what you said, and it is what it is. You feel me? Like, there's a lot of problems going on here. in somebody's energy. Yeah, you got a hater here. That's probably recording your, your audios, screenshotting, whatever. But they're recording your calls. They're recording when you talk. They're recording what you say. So if you got friends here, you better be careful what you say to your friends. I'm talking to somebody. I'm seeing somebody. All oh, these guys flirting with me. This girl's flirting with me. Whatever it is, and you committed because somebody here's a hater, and they're 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 recording your calls. 
they're recording whatever you say here. Damn. Let me catch somebody doing that to me. Mm -mm. And he says, this could be your first little last initial. Whatever. What were you thinking about? This could also be for nicknames. Let me see what's coming out here. R stayed in there, so I'm going to leave the R in there, okay? So you got an R here. You got an E. I'm sick, people. You got a G. My allergies are out of control. My sign is too. You got K. You got an O here. You got another O, so that's significant here. You got a T. You got another G. You got a V. You got an A. Ooh, you got another O. You got four O's on the table with this one. You got another O. So O is very significant for somebody's name or nickname. You got an E here. So this E is doubled up. This G is doubled up. I'm going to throw it down and see what happens. Came back to a T. This one came back to an L. You got a T here and you got four O's. I'm going to flip two O's and a T and see what I can get you. You got a UN. You got an I. That could also be an H. And that O came right back. One of the O's. So you got two more O's. I'm going to flip them. That C flew out real fast. So C wanted to fly out. And you got X. Okay. So I love you. I wish you the best of luck. And I'll see you later, my loves.